Hi, in today's video, I want to talk about copyright free image. I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples how it works. I also discuss two sites, two websites, which show how it really works and what you should watch out for. So let's begin. So uh, when you have copyrights, it's important to know every image has copyright on it. And if you're looking for image on the internet that doesn't have copyright, you need to figure out what the license are. So I'm going to show you where you can get a license. So you have a copyright owner, and when they put free image on the internet, that means you get a license to use the image. Doesn't mean that you do. That doesn't mean you are the copyright owner of the image. You have the license to use the image. I'm going to give you some examples. So remember, you get the permission to use the image. The image is not yours. You can use it for commercial use or you can use it for personal use. That's a matter. Yeah. So um, let's go to Google. As you can see, let's look at the internet and see what it's saying. Uh, copy right free image. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, correct image. You see, you have a lot of websites here that offer the copyright free image. It means that when you buy an image here, you get the right to use the image, but it doesn't mean you have an exclusive right. Exclusive right means that you are the only person that uses the image. You just are allowed to use the image for commercial use. That's when you buy it on this kind of website. You also have websites that provide images for free, like Pixabay. Um, free images I'm gonna discuss those two so we're gonna discuss pixabay and free images we're gonna look at the license yeah let's start with pixabay here you can find a lot of uh, images that you can use so you can download it but let's look at the license that you get for when using the, the images on uh, pixabay so if you press here you see the license in the terms of service if you're a photographer or videographer or anything else and you upload content on pixabay if you're a photographer or videographer and you upload content on pixabay you have to look at the terms of service yeah here you need to go down and when you go down let's see let's see uh, prices for contents you need to read this part and uploading content because when you upload the content, you give Pixabay a license, but also the person that are using it. You just need to read this. Yeah. And if you are online and you're looking for copyright free images, that's why we're here, you need to look at the license. Here you see the license, which you're allowed to use it and which you're not allowed to use it. So when you're on this kind of website, always look at the terms and look at the license for to use. So our content on Pixabay can be used for free for commercial and non-commercial, so you're allowed to use it. And attribution is not required, okay? but um, it's always appreciated by the community. And what you also, what you also can do is you're, you're allowed to add the, um, what, you're, what you're also allowed to do is you're allowed to edit the picture however you want. But this is what you're not allowed to do. Yeah, don't distribute or resell someone else's picture by image or videos. You sell copies and those things. This, this is what you're not allowed to do. So don't resell it. Yeah, that's the license that you have. So when you're on Pixabay and you want to use the picture of Pixabay, you're allowed to use this for free. And let's look at the other website, freeimage.com. They have the same concept. So let's look at the license. So you just go at terms of use, and when you at the terms of use, you see when you upload content here on this website, you need to follow this. And let's see, term no, this is term of use of the website, content license. So how can I use the content? Here you will find the rules about it in digital format and on exclusive rights, and what you are not allowed to use. This is uh, 
this is obvious it's technically almost the same as uh, Pixabay but here they explain what you allow and what you are not allowed to do in more details and uh, here they explain it to you what who owns the copyright and the thing is sometimes you have some picture you don't have some Pixabay that you have to provide attribution so that means you have to uh, put copyright the name of the person who made it on your website or whatever you want to put the picture so that's what it's called attribution if you do not do that then you will not meet the requirements so you then that will leave on copyright um, if you do not put an attribution if you not put an attribution correct that's a copyright violation that means you do not meet the requirement and the problem with that is they can sue you for copyright violation that means that the picture is not free so watch out for this when you look at the picture look what the attribution is and copy the correct attribution if you do not do that you can get in trouble so um, so recap when you go in these websites where they offer you a free image always look at the license and always look at the terms what are the terms and how you're allowed to use it do you need the attribution or not look at these things up Pixabay I can assure you is free no attribution required but you're allowed to do it uh, but uh, yeah that's it so these are my tips for copyright images online if you have questions about this or anything related to that feel free to contact me see you in the next video